Reading from the covenants and reigning through the ministries. This place is chosen by Yahweh to put his name here. We have sought it out carefully and come to this place. We shall bring our families, friends, and loved ones. We shall eat and rejoice before Yahweh in this place. We shall bring our tithes and all offerings, including the lifting of hands and first fruits. Deuteronomy 12, 1 through 9. So be it. This is our Gibeon, our high hill. Yahweh's authority, which is his anointing, shall dwell here at all times. First Kings 9, 1 through 3. So be it. 12. This house represents our secret place that abides under the shadow of Elion Yahweh and we shall dwell there in Psalms 91 and 1. So be it. Amen. Come on, give all the hand of praise. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in the name of Yeshua. Father, we come to give you praise. We come to glorify you. To spend time and commune with you, Father. To glorify you with everything that's in us, Father. Hallelujah, Father. We come to praise you in spirit and in truth, Father. And so we put our flesh aside right now, Father. We send our spirit in to give you that pure praise, Father. To go beyond our thoughts, to go beyond how we feel, to go beyond emotions, Father. To just truly praise you with everything that is considered us, Father. We glorify you right now, Father. Not in our own strength, Father, but in the power that you give to us, Father. Because you are our almighty. Because you have loved us, Father, from before we were even born, Father. How can we thank you with words, Father? We thank you with everything that is us right now, Father. We are so grateful to you, Father. We welcome you in this place. We welcome you in our hearts, Father. We welcome you right now. In the name of Yeshua, Father, we just glorify you. Oh, hallelujah, heaven and earth proclaim your name, Father. We thank you for the authority that you have in this place, Father. You are almighty, Father. You are all righteous, Father. You are our everything, Father. We lean on you today, Father. We open up ourselves to receive from you, Father. We call for your will to be done in this place. Your will to be done in our lives, Father. And everything that we do and everything that we say tonight, Father, let it be according to your purpose, your plan, Father, what you have already spoken, what you have designed, Father, the destiny that you have for tonight, Father. We just open up ourselves to you right now, Father. Have your way, hallelujah, in the name of Yeshua. Father, we take time right now to repent of all wrongdoing, Father. Everything that we've done that was unpleasing to you, Father. We ask you for forgiveness, Father, as we turn away, Father. We ask you to keep us on the righteous path that you have ordained for us, Father. Clean us up. Turn us around. Put us where you desire for us to be, Father. Oh, we thank you right now for leading and guiding us, Father, for washing us clean, Father, for washing us in your word, washing us in the blood, Father. We thank you right now. Hallelujah. We thank you right now. Hallelujah for everything that you've done for us, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we just join together right now in the spirit of Koinonia right now, Father, in fellowship. Father, praising you, lifting up your name, recognizing your authority in this place, Father. We take charge of this atmosphere right now, and we just declare that everything that is against you must leave right now. Even as your anointing has already come in and set the pace, Father, as you have already come in and anointed these walls, Father, we thank you, Father. We lift up our pastor to you right now. Hallelujah. We thank you for blessing him. We thank you for touching him. We thank you for your truth that is flowing through him. We thank you for the unction that you've given to him, Father, to deliver your word, to bring your people to a place where you have ordained, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on and praise the Father in this place. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you. We glorify you. We give you all the honor, all the praise in this place, Father, as we become those ambassadors that you call on our city. As we take our place in your kingdom, in the kingdom of heaven, and glory for it to 
the Father, we thank you for continuing to save us, continuing to follow us, and continuing to save us, Father. In the name of Yeshua, we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Come on, come on, and praise the Father in Jesus. Amen. Sacrifices of praise unto Yahweh. First Peter 2, 5, 9, and 10. So, so be it. it. Sing praises unto God. Exalt him that rides upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. Psalm 68 and 4. So, so be it. it. All right, come on and put those hands together for the Lord and Father. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His pressure continually, continually be in my mouth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. His pressure continually. Thank you. 
think so. Yes, sir. On a whole other plane and a whole other place. You know, you just can't go to the store and buy a word. You just can't go and get that. Well, you can but it wasn't going to work. You just can't go by Treffalo's greatest yet. I was watching that, you know, and you know I know I've been preaching on over songs and words, you know, just having word music playing in the background uh -huh. and, and uh, different things. And I was just shocked. I really was. Yes. This man got a whole album that he charged people for him preaching over somebody playing songs. You gotta be kidding. Songs in the background and singing right. something. A whole car called Preaching the pre, pre, preaching <laughs> something like that. I don't even remember the name, but I'm just shocked. Oh. I see. I mean, come on. It, it, it's one thing if you like it, you know. You know. But you know, come on, man. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. That's just. That's just. Come on, man. Yes. About how well we do charge for the preacher. Well, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you expecting things different? You know, that's just like ESPN charging you a different rate just for the ESPN top ten player of the week. Yes. Come on, you can get the show, but you can't get the top ten. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This, I, I was just, oh, mm -hmm. I, I ain't trying to say wrong or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just surprised to see something. I said, Father, I thank you. Yes. Hey, yes. you don't have to pay two dollars. As, as my, my son tell me a lot, I had a dream. I had a dream. Uh -oh. I had a dream, big man. Uh -oh. I said, he had a dream. Some days, little kids all over the world want to pay to get a word. Yeah. I said, get that last money. They can go buy some food with it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? You gotta dream about something that don't mean nothing. <laughs> um, if you have your scriptures, read it. it. Come on, roll with me. Come on, roll with me to the Father's house. To the Father's house. Come on, come on, roll with me to the Father's house. To the Father's house. There'll be no crying there. There'll be no lying there. There'll be no dying there. Come to your eyes out, to the father's house. Hey, hey, y'all want to go? Yes. They want to go for the big, big house. Well, we can play football. Yes. We can play table. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, roll, roll with me. First John, fourth John. I know we've been talking about a lot. We got too much to do with me. That probably the kind of review time to get over. You better try to keep up. Yes. First John, fourth chapter. Uh, we've yeah. been talking about so much stuff. I don't know. One of the last things we talked about was, was going to hell. He's talking about uh, the 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 oh, yeah. with, with the rich man Lazarus went to hell. He went to he went to Abraham's bosom and the uh, uh, the rich man Lazarus went to hell and the uh, other man with Abraham's bosom. What was that? I don't remember the name. I think Lazarus, Lazarus went to the to yeah. Lazarus went to Abraham's bosom. He yeah. went Lazarus to get his hand mm -hmm. in the water. Which man went over to this place called Hill? Yeah. Yeah. Neighbors. And then, like, I remember standing there. Standing in what I thought was Hill. <laughs> right next door, called Abraham Bosom, they had AC. Boy. And I went to run all over to my house. It was about 20 degrees. Oh, man. I'm saying that to make that a point. Mm -hmm. It don't take one thing to separate you from heaven and here. Ah. All the word. You got to receive that word and know that, that you should have died for your sins. And I know you think that ain't nothing. 
But to the people who said nothing now, that's up. Yeah. To, the, to the man who said, yo, uh, if that would dip his hand in that water and give me something cool to quench my thirst, he wish he would have accepted that word. Yeah. And guess what? He's still there. Mm -hmm. Take off. That's a long time. He's still there. Yeah. Wishing he would have accepted that word. Wow. I was watching, I was watching the show today. This one show said the angel he said, I wish I would have listened. Mm -hmm. I said, that don't even sound right. No. How can an angel wish? Mm -hmm. You want Lucifer to bless him to be able to hear? See. You know, my mind works that's different. Good. That's a good thing. Somebody yes. said that's a good thing. That's, that's a, a good, good thing. thing. Yeah. I ain't got time to play with y'all, but I'm trying to tell you something. Mm -hmm. That if you don't learn how to use this word and learn how to how to live by the word and, 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 and use it as the weapon that it's meant for and the life that it's meant to lead, and you're going to find yourself in a very ugly situation. You're going to find yourself in a place of despair, in a place of hurt, yeah. and, and, and it ain't going to never go away. Yeah. And you think you're doing so good, but you don't learn, you don't know how to use the power that God has given you. Mm -hmm. I've said so many times the Father has blessed us with so many good things, and we get fat and lazy and sitting around and expect everything to be added to us. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, you're going to miss that pork and beans. Now, I did say pork and beans, pork and beans. And, and now you're eating steak and stuff, but you're going to look back and wish you had a can of bank account. <laughs> Literary and physical. I'm going somewhere, man, because it makes no sense to take this word for granted. We don't even study this word because we don't think we need it. Yeah. Right. It's the truth anyway. My wife spoke to me. I know I'm going now. Mm -hmm. My wife spoke to me, though, when we was coming up here, and she said, What you doing there now? The day you fill no more prescription for medicine in 30 days. I said, I pray more. <laughs> yeah. And then I said, I, said, I, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't let it bother me. I, I wouldn't panic. I'm serious. I would not let myself panic. Because I don't, I thought about, you know, you forget. I remember I went a long time without prescription medicine. Man, for real. And she don't know, but I was thinking on that very subject earlier today. Oh, good way. You know. Here we go. Here we go. Things happen, man, and, and yes. the Father brings us through, and we get over on the other side, we forget. Yeah. And then why he said, you know, you got to talk about it. You got to say things. So we're watching the boys, watching some picture today. And these people talking about we get together on our daughter's birthday to honor her memory and 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 uh so we want our daughter, our next daughter, to come up to to know about her and don't forget her. And we do, and we talk about her on this day, and we go out there to the grave and we clean and we speak, whatever they were saying they were doing. And, and they, they took it from a good thing over to a worship thing. Mm. They went to talking about, oh, she's watching over me as I'm doing oh, this and man. going through this and all this other foolishness and ridiculous. And, and, and I, I'm telling you, man, I, I was thinking, man, I said, you know what, that's just downright stupid. But the Father yes. said that, the Father said that you got to talk about him. Yes. Right. So that you would know what he did. So when you get over, you won't forget. It was him that gave you the yes. power to get well. Yes. Right. And we ain't even talking about him, so we don't know what he done. And that's why we walked into this place called ignorance. Mm. Well, we take things for granted, but we ought not to be taking things for granted. Here I, here I am, I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, you know, my wife get ready to leave, and, and how many people pray for her? Well, I'm going to pray for her when she leaves. I said, well, how many people pray for her now? Yeah. I mean, you know, if you ain't praying for her now, you know, I don't expect no great amount of prayer to go forth, you know, when she's gone. Right. <laughs> if you ain't been faithful over the, over the few, how you going to be faithful over the much? Yes. This is true, been a how. I know you want to say, it'll be wonderful, I'm going to pray for you every day. Two days go by, you're going to be mine, going to be on other stuff. Yes. Because you don't talk about it. She's not important in your life. But for me, it's, it's, it's like my earth about to collapse. It's like my whole world coming down. And I don't mean nothing to nobody. And, 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 and I don't care about that part. But it, I don't expect it to mean that much to you. Yeah. But to me, that's, that's, that's my everything. I'm like, you know. You know, that, that's, that's, you, you take her, you know, it take me. It, 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 it doesn't matter anymore. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and, and then you look at that and people are like, wow, you know, they, they're, 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 they're just so in love. All we learn how to be one. And we learn what real love is, not All according right. to what the world said it is. All right. All right. You know, I'm telling you the truth. I hear you. Everything, everything she said now has become drastically important. Oh. It's the right. truth. You know, you know, I start everything just listening. Because yeah. next week is time. It don't look like she's gonna be here. She's gonna be doing somewhere else. She's gonna be here. I'm here at work, but she's gonna be in another another state or whatever doing whatever she's doing. Yes. And I've been there before, but still, it, yeah. it never feels good. Yeah. It's it not no sexy feeling, man. I don't like it. See, I'm using that just as an example on how we take things for granted. Yes. Can yeah. you imagine how the disciples felt when Yeshua went there to get them that oh. extra fish? When they had to go back fishing? Yes. Like, man, I remember when we thought this was easy. Oh. It's hard. <laughs> well, you sure? We know we always had a good fish. A fish sandwich coming up. Yes. Verse thing verse, you know, we always can be sure, man. We need a fish sandwich. Man, you're not sure a fish sandwich. Well, you tell the truth right now. I was on national TV for that. <laughs> Say hello to the Bantam Clown. Yes. <laughs> it got everything. Yes. They take the sink and they literally pour all the money <laughs> on the Man. And then they expect you to eat it. <laughs> you eat it once, you are addicted. <laughs> That's for real, though. Right? Yeah. Yes. That's in some serious. Yes. We go by money where all dies just jump out the money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world. We, are, we read this and we read it a lot, and yet we still forget. Mm -hmm. Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. And we think everything that makes our hair blow, our skin bubble up, is of yes. Yeah. And, and what's a bit of a shame, you be in this present and don't even know it. Oh, see. I mean, your miracle will be right there and you don't even know it. Oh. You took time to pray. I, I, I'm telling you, man, I, 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 I understand, really. I don't want to say too much about it, but I, I, I understand more now than ever why the Father wants us to say to the man, this man, because I'm so happy to sound. I woke up tired this morning, but I'm so happy to be in my right mind. Yeah. Uh, I, I just, just man, you know. Because I'm telling you, man, things can happen, man. Y'all take them out of my word for it. Things can happen, and you just do not know what in the world you Yes, do. yes. I woke up, I woke up, I looked at my wife, I said, oh, my, in the world? And she said, you don't remember that night right around? Uh -huh. Nope, I sure don't. It took about two or three showers. Nope, I sure don't. Wow. Now that's right. The thing you try to remember, I don't remember Jack. It seemed like the whole month he had with my head. Even 24 hours. Wow. I told him, where are you going to be? He said, I didn't have to go through this on my thing. He said, who did? Yes. Girl, you don't remember me and you asked the dad to go home? No. I don't know none of this stuff. I said, how'd you get in the living room? Yes. And then he came here and sat down.
Make sure I'm in the right state of mind. Okay. I am the Lord God who brought me out of the house. Yes. Out of the land of abundance. And God said, I'll be so happy. God said, have no one to go. I'm serious, man. I'm saying that for me. He's like, Pastor, are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. It's, it's, it's that CO2. We get up there. And, and if you get up there, CO2 in your brain, let's see what you, let's see what come out of you. Well, let's see if you got any devil hiding up in you. Well, you got to take the CO2 test. No, time to go. <laughs> And see what happens. Mm. I live my life on Front Street. Yes. You know. Yes. And I don't want to go there. And see, and see, we don't understand. We 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 follow after every voice. Oh, that that's not me. Yeah. Even in my worst state of mind, I don't follow after every voice. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Listen to all these different things. Even I'm up here praying. That like like men are going up here singing. I, I hear so many things in the spirit. Uh -huh. Boom, 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 boom. And you're like, Pastor, you may be crazy, but I'm a long way from it. Believe me. Okay. Trust me. And, and, and I hear all this stuff in the spirit. And people's minds don't even be ready. Yeah. And people wonder why I sing a long time or why I sing a short time. It's because your mind don't even be ready for me to speak one spiritual thing. Wow. You don't, you don't put enough thought through yourself to even sing a song up to y'all with spirit and with truth. Yes. You're wrestling back here with, 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 with cereal and cornflakes and who did what and what did this and how many times is this going to happen and what time is it and all you're supposed to put all that stuff aside before you even step to the door yeah. and get ready to receive it in word that will save your mind. Yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh yes, sir. That's the truth, man. Oh, well, I'm going to up now for I ain't felt like pre preaching when I walk up here. I know what that means. Uh oh. That means a storm coming. It's a true man. Here, Brock, come on, Mr. Morgan. Here, Brock, I know you is Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh is of God. Simple, huh? Mm -hmm. Every spirit that confesses that Yeshua, you ought to know by now that every spirit. Oh, they're supposed to be saying the same thing you should have said when you do all your study. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go over with the saying the same thing that was that confessing to me that Yeshua has said. What he said about himself coming in the play, that is of you. If they say what he said, then it's not him. Yeah. And every spirit that don't say that is what does not want. Come on. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. This is the spirit of Antichrist. Where ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. You he, heard it was coming, and it's now already in the world, and you act like this is time to eat popcorn. Oh, man. We, we back then, the Antichrist, the spirit of the Antichrist, running around trying to take people's mind, mm -hmm. and, and here, he is, here we are. Give me your two dollars, you can leave them in. But here we are, all this long time I went by, and we act like it's not late in the game. Oh, man. I mean, know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. You know, I'm playing football, boy, you know. I grew up playing basketball. I played basketball. I was in a high school team. I was a bad man. Yes. I'm not just saying that. I really was a bad man. Bad, 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 bad. And I came in for a scene. I don't know, I was jogging, but I wasn't running fast. The coach got mad and took me out. You know, I didn't think it was necessary for me to sprint. You know. I didn't know. He took me out. So I sat down. And the rest of the quarter went by. And you know, you're supposed to sit right beside. Like you're a little, you know, mm. sick of me, Elmo. So I'm sitting. I said, if the man don't put me in by the two men go by, that's it for me. I can go wrestle. Yeah. I don't have to worry about whether I'm getting in or not. Ooh. I think I worry about right when I'm wrestling. Yeah. My man coming in, oh, one, two, three, there you go. Yeah. That's mine. It's all you in the way. It's all you in the way here. Mm -hmm. Mind, buddy. Yeah. I'm sitting up there. That time went by. Guess what I did? Yeah. 
Don't think about me. I've always been a man of my word. Yeah. I got up. I ain't trying to make no scene in now. I got up and just went straight on to the locker room, behind my own business. I hear them voice echoing. The whole gym had got quiet. <laughs> The whole gym, she was there, I'm not lying, the whole gym got quiet. Yes. And the voice came, Big <laughs> I'm a put you in, come back. <laughs> Turn around, came back. Listen, <laughs> 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 I'm going to try to say, hey, you got to do anything. Uh -uh. I was, this is what I was thinking. In, in today's terminology, my time is valuable, man. Yes. I ain't come here and practice all that hard mm -hmm. to sit on the bench because I was jogging at a play that did require me to sprint. Mm -hmm. I was not loafing. Mm -hmm. I had just got the rebound. Yeah. I got the rebound past the ball. I'm jogging down in the, in the point guard right there dribbling. So I'm coming to set up, and the next thing I know, he pulled me out. Thinking I'm tired or whatever. I don't know what he was thinking. He thought that no more. He sure did. I just said, you know, that's it for me. Mm -hmm. This is not what I was meant to do. <laughs> but see, the point I'm trying to make is every second is valuable. Yes. I, I knew, I'm looking at the clock. I know how much time left in the game. I know every second up there is valuable. Yes. And when I got in there, I sprinted up and down the court. Yes, I did from then on. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to be taken out early because I knew that the time was valuable. Yeah. So I guess I learned my lesson too. Mm -hmm. That's the truth in it, huh? Yeah. And, and we sit by like time is not valuable that we can just do whatever we want to do. Yeah. And we'll get there when we get there and we'll do it when we do it. Yeah. And y'all done told us 59 times when he said now, he means now. Yes. This boy is looking here, I'm trying to tell you something. Thank you, and we sit by, oh, I get it, yeah. Oh, you don't care. Well, whatever. No, time is valuable. Yes. That's what he's saying here. We are the end time, end game. Yes. And one thing I learned, but when you get in at the end, they expect you to do something. Yes. When, when, and that's why, why you think they got the six man of the year award? Yes. They expect that juggle to get off the bench, to come out that bench and do something. When you back up somebody, they don't expect you to come in and be sorry. Okay. When, 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 I went to, when I went to the, uh, to the NFL, I was, Astound. I was astounded, surprised, astonished, oh. all of that put together. Because I didn't I could not believe how much talent it was in the world. Yeah. In the NFL, the people on the bench is just as good as the people playing. Uh -huh. It's just politics or 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 the other person came from a big school. You know, where I was at first, second, and third team at Miami Dolphin was all the same. It was nobody better than nobody else. Even the veterans. The veterans came in, they was at the same skill level. They brought in these other people thinking that they could rise above the, the crop, rise the cream and rise to the top. Now you want to have uh, 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 Dan Marino. You want to have, uh, I don't know, uh, what's the boy's name? Um, the, the one who ran the ball now with the Washington. RG3. Uh, you're going to have an RG3. You're going to have the, uh, the standout players. But then you're going to have 59. What's the uh, Jets for the right? Sanchez. You're going to have 59 Sanchez. <laughs> Red Wayne to get in there. And they're hungry. Mm -hmm. Sanchez got super sorry when he started taking things for granted. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to have too many uh, big, what, what's, the, what's Pittsburgh big quarterback? You ain't gonna have too many of them big jokers like that running through. You know, surely you ain't gonna have too many Peyton Manning. But you're gonna have a bunch, and, he, and, and Jeff Corbett ain't the sorriest person in the world. But you're gonna have a whole bunch of them. Yeah, waiting to get in. Waiting for you to slip up. Waiting for you to twist your ankle. You, know, you can't even tell when a cornerback be hurt sometimes. Well, this is the third string. We went to the Super Bowl Green Bay with a third string uh, cornerback. Yeah. The skill level just the same. You don't think y'all got a deep team? Y'all don't hear me. You don't think y'all got a deep squad? If you won't do it, then you don't think he'll get somebody else to do it. Right. He'll get somebody hungry and willing to do what you wouldn't do. Because you believe his word going to come to pass. Right. You still 
still think you got time. If you got a time set and a time length to do something, let's say 14 years old when you were supposed to help this woman across the street, and you never did that, guess what? You can't go back into time. Right. You're out of gas. I don't limit nothing to y'all, but somebody walked across the street. Somebody gonna get paid for that. It just won't be you. Y'all don't get me. I got something for you to chew on when you go home tonight. Was Matthias really supposed to be the twelve apostle? Wow. Hmm. Or was he? Was, was he on the arm? Uh, he came off the bench. Wow. I mean, you 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 hear nothing about uh, Bartholomew and. Uh, but what was some more of them other ones? Uh, I don't know, Stephen. <laughs> exactly. Stephen came off the bench and he got killed. The only reason you heard about him because he was the first one to get killed. You think how many more Stephen was out there? You weren't even there one of the apostles. Wow. No, they can't. That's real talk. So if, you, if you're supposed to walk that boy across the street at age 14, here you is, 30 years old, oh, and you're wondering why your neck hurts. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, come on. Be, be, be graceful. I got things to do. Yes. Ye are God, little children, and have overcome them. Because great is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yes. Great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yes. I've, been, I've been trying to grab that for the longest. Because the Father telling me something remarkable. And I'm missing it. Yes. Great is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Here is the Antichrist been around all these years seducing people and driving them away from God. Uh -huh. And bringing disease and destruction and chaos to people's minds. And here I am yes. called, ordained by God to do a job. And now I'm an ambassador uh -huh. of, of Yeshua. And here I am with the greater on the inside of me, and I'm sitting around doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting around, and I'm a slave to uh, the American society. Mm -hmm. I'm y'all gonna hear me up in here? Huh? What am I doing spiritual? What am I doing that that, that that to be an ambassador of Yeshua? Mm -hmm. Am I letting my light shine? No, I'm complaining every five seconds when I'm at work. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I'm like, why my life got to be so hard? Why I got to do this? And why I got to do it? The only thing you're doing is trying to get money. Uh -huh. You ain't saying I'm wrecking ass for y'all because you want to talk to y'all like that. If you sure was standing at the counter, you would run and break your neck trying to throw some, some something down. Yeah, don't step on that mud. Don't use that bathroom, you sure. Let me go clean it first. Uh -huh. You'll come down and take your shirt off and screw up everything. I oh, don't know. Uh, you have to beat me first because I'll be the other way. <laughs> and people come out and say, yes, I am. You ain't been faithful over the field. You'll be sitting by eating and watching. Boy. I wonder what Yeshua was going to do next. Boy. Did you know Yeshua was going to be in that store? <laughs> Let's go see Yeshua. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. See, I told you he was black. <laughs> Man, that just put in. What are you talking about? <laughs> You got it. You, you, you're doing this to everybody. <laughs> I got to wipe the floor of the bathroom and let me show you. Oh, he said, you, you did a good job. Yes. Really, that's how he told you you did a good job. Okay. You don't care about being an author time then. You don't care about mm. nobody saying why you're doing the best you can. See, that's real talk, Pastor. Great is he that is in me, that he that's in the world, but see, like the world winning. And your life is a real win. To count the minutes mm -hmm. and the hours of the day that you spend representing Yeshua. To count the time and the hours of the day you spend representing yourself. Oh my goodness. And see, let's oh. that's, that's see who's getting the most time in. Mm. Hmm. My time is valuable. Yes. Yah is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He yes. has time. He don't want you messing up his game. Mm 
Yes. You don't want you out there falling on the floor all tired and out of shape. Sit down somewhere. Oh. Get somebody off the bench. Oh. Look up this coach. <laughs> wow. Ooh, wow. I like me right now. Mm. Great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I can't yeah. tell. Mm. Yeah, I got that. Man. So why aren't you acting like that? Oh. Wow. Anybody here my brother? Yes, sir. I said greater is on the inside. Greater is on the inside of me. Greater is on the inside. Of me. You got so much greater than I look, 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 look what we got. Okay. Um, just, oh, go to Revelation. Mm -hmm. Revelation 12 chapter. I know a lot of times we used to hear about the world this and the world that. I told y'all last year probably. I don't know. That they don't know what they're talking about with the foods. Okay. They were talking about the food was coming last year and all this. Now I said, you know what I'm messing it up for this year's coming? Mm -hmm. And this year now the whole country broke out in food and people are dying and everybody looking stupid. Mm -hmm. They tell you, they say, go get the shots while so more people could die. Mm -hmm. Don't get me. Now, now, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't saying I know everything, but I do know when y'all tell me something. Mm -hmm. and I sit around and I, I tell you, man, man, this and that flu stuff is crazy. They don't even know, they don't even know what flu, what the measure of flu you're getting, what the, the what the prepare you for. They just guess it. Mm -hmm. And you the experiment chart. Okay, we're gonna get this group A through Z. We're gonna get these. One through ten, and we're gonna get these negative five through sixteen. Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody we're gonna hit this, and somebody gonna say, Oh, I'm glad I got the flu. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna posterize that joke, and they're gonna say, Oh, we got the flu shot, and the flu shot was saying. Mm -hmm. And the other people we'll be getting rid of because we need to get rid of some people. Lord. And, and they don't try to kill everybody in one shot, they just try to make them weak. Mm -hmm. And so eventually within a ten year frame we die out. Man. Oh, That's the truth. You know, if they had not, they would be out of being gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Revelation 12, child, y'all there yet? Oh, y'all, why y'all so quiet? What happened? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Revelation 12, verse 9. Come on, Mr. Martin. The great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan was deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with them. Now we got the uh, we got this great dragon called Satan. This was cast into the earth. That means he ain't here yet. Mm. But he might be here, he might this might already not happen. But for years they've been telling you he trapped in hell and he running around running souls to hell and he have been telling you all this other stuff. Yeah. You know, running around scared of the devil and the flesh was your greatest enemy. The scripture tells you that uh, uh, you need to uh, uh, crucify the flesh daily and then go out and represent Yeshua and everything you do. And, and, but instead of that, you worry about demons jumping out of you. Oh, man. Instead of walking around fearless, you run around fearful. Y'all not give me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind, except when the wind blows. Y'all not give me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind, except when, when they say an uh, uh, earthquake coming. Y'all not give me a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound mind, except during hurricane season. Y'all not give me a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound mind, except when they say a bomb, uh, we got war. Uh, Y'all is not give me a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound mind, uh, only when they say terrorists have struck. Y'all not give me a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound mind, only, only when all my bills are paid. Y'all not give me a spirit of fear, stop lying. That's you smell like you're afraid. Oh! You reek of fear. It's the smell. That's the truth in the Yes. You can't fool animals. They smell that fear on you. Yeah. And you can't fool me. And you can't fool me up. Uh -huh. So instead of getting some help, you stand in the flesh against a spiritual being. Look at me, I got a man, Father, you better stop me. And I heard a loud voice. Come on, Mr. Warner. And I heard a loud voice in heaven. 
Now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom is of God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused before our God day and night. Now you got up in heaven, and this, this is a scene I, I seem to have read, and he has some little crumbs. I know somebody might have wrote it in my, my scriptures last night. I don't know, but, but this is what I see when I stumble across. There's somewhere in the heavenly realms of the heavenly that we have this demon, this devil, what we are supposed to be fighting according to the religion, that we're supposed to be fighting and mama said knock you out and all that type of stuff. But he's up in the heaven, he's accusing us before the Father day and night. Now I know I got sense enough to know that an angel can't be in all places at the same time. Yes. So how I might I say get behind me, Satan, and money come to me now, get out of my way, devil me when he ain't even standing in my way. Yeah. He, he up until this point, he's where? In the heaven he's doing what? Accusing me before the father and said, Look at that, look, look at the father, I told you he was a fool. Look at him. Look at him. He, he's talking about get me behind me, Satan. I'm way up here with you. Boy. What is he talking about? Uh, uh. Oh, he said, he said, Oh, no, oh, no. He said, The devil flag his time. I'm right here, yeah. Father, father, look at this idiot. Look at him. He's swinging. He's running around in circles. Saying his life's not going to change. Oh, look at him. I ain't doing that to him. You don't see none of my people about it. He's, he's an idiot. Uh -huh. Better thing we got Yeshua ah! standing in the gap for us. Mm -hmm. All of us will be through. Mm. Yeshua said, I died for him, Father. I died. I know y'all don't see it like that. But anyway, mm -hmm. he's been standing before the Father day and night. Apparently, he don't get tired. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This time is valuable. And guess what he's doing? I'm looking at you, two four seven. Uh -huh. Who means he got somebody on your hips, two four seven, telling on you. Yes. Man. He got somebody. Now he might not tell on you every day. Yeah. But the news get back to up to him. Yeah. He, he was the part of him. They hit him on that. Uh -huh. See, yesterday he was the part of him. Like y'all don't know, but okay. and they all came him how? Mm. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Now he said, "Great is he that is in me, and he that is in the world." He said, and they overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb, <laughs> and by the word of their testimony. That they love not their lives unto death. The only thing I see in here that I have control of is that word. Ah. By the word of their testimony. Wow. Somebody said word of their testimony. Word of their testimony. Word of their testimony. And look at that word, word there. It's not a mistake. It's a word. Logos. Somebody said logos. Logos. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, then I couldn't be, but I'm not. The logos mm -hmm. is. The last word, and the last word used, that's when it said, Yeshua said, I am. Um, in the beginning was the word, mm -hmm. and, and I think that's the logos. Mm -hmm. The last word, yeah. And we call it the last word, because you got logos and ramus. And ramus is a, is a right, right now, a right, right now. It's not saying right now. Right now. So right now, word. And I could be, I could be saying it wrong. Let me, let me, let me double check. Let me, 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 that is the logos, right? That's the logos. That is the logos. Let's see what John 101 said. John 101 said, yeah, in the beginning, what? The logos. Where did it go? Somebody said the logos. The logos. The logos. The logos. So, so the word of their testimony. What is that saying? The logos of their testimony. Of their testimony. They say in that they're saying the same thing that Yeshua said. They are now testified that they're doing. Mm. They're saying the same thing that Yeshua said. But Yeshua said, when he said, get thee behind me, Satan, for something that the enemy got in their face, they're saying it too. Because they know Yeshua told them to say that. Yeah. And a certain situation arrived that the enemy is trying to get them to do. Or whatever is whatever. Where they're saying the same thing that 
Yeshua has taught them to say. Yes. They are operating the same way that Yeshua told them to operate. Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. The word of their testimony and they love not their life unto death. In other words, they ain't braggadocious. Yes. Now, all those, what I just told you was, he, he comes at us with lust of the eyes, lust of yes, the flesh, yes. and the pride of the life. The pride of the life is just destroyed by love not their lives unto death, and also lust of the eyes and lust of the flesh is crushed with that right now. And the word of that testimony is I'm doing what I was taught to do, the Logos has taught me to do. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. So instead of us running around looking for a way out, we supposed to be running around and declaring what Yeshua has declared about every situation. Okay. The blood of the Lamb, we receive Yeshua, and our testimony is that's why when we get saved, we run and tell somebody. But the enemy, he's doing his very best to shut you up. He's doing his very best to keep you quiet. Yes, yes. And he got you thinking, the devil listening to what I say. Mm -hmm. And so you won't declare anything. Because mm. you're more scared of the devil than more obedient to what y'all oh, say. Y'all say, declare it, declare it. Speak a word, speak a word. And you saying, now the devil going to hear me. Boy. So I'm going to sit here and suffer. Mm. Yeah, you can read my mind, can't you? Oh. Yeah, but I told you to speak a word. Because there's power in your word. Well, I know you get my thoughts. You just want me to believe it. Boy. There it is. The lazy generation. There you go. Lazy to sin. We're too lazy to speak a word. Yes. Because that means we got to fight for it. That means we put it out there. Now we got to say, but... We got to do what we say we're going to yeah, do. That's right. You know, if we don't tell nobody, if it don't come to pass, then we're not responsible for it. Mm. If we don't tell nobody, then, you know, if we don't tell nobody, hey, I'm healed by, by the wounds of your shoe, then yeah. if we don't get healed, we ain't got to answer no question. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pastor, boy, you, boy, you said you're something high. Man, man. Oh, you told me. You're a bad, bad man in the world. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not that flesh has to die. Don't worry about it. Let me get back to the world. Okay. Ah. Now we get over here. Oh, we get over here. We we discover that Yeshua has made a way for us to get in, right? Right. Through His blood, right? right? And He told us through our teachings and through the teaching He told us to declare some things. But we know in our hearts we haven't been saying what He said. Yeah. We just read over there. And it says, when it says that um, in order to know that someone's saved, it says, believe not every spirit, but the spirit that is saying the same thing that Yeshua has said, it said, those are the ones. Y'all remember, remember that scripture, right? Yep. What we started out with, blood, believe not every yes. spirit, but try the spirit where it be, be not of God. Mm -hmm. Those that are saying that what Yeshua come in the flesh, those that are saying what? Those who say the same thing Yeshua say about his coming. Yes. Those are, the, that's the spirit that she's supposed to believe. Now we're kind of like I'm talking about. So we see here that we're supposed to use our word. I don't know if you see that, Pastor. Go to Matthew 8. Okay. Yeah. 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 Now I'm telling you, the, every problem that you're dealing with, everything that you're going through, 
Once you crucify the flesh, somebody say crucify the flesh. Crucify the flesh. How crucify, well, how crucify the flesh? Through the word. You get the victory through the word. Through the blood of the lamb, the word of the testimony, and you love not your life unto death. You get the victory through the word. Somebody said through the word. Through the word. Your part, you got to say something. Say, I got to say something. I got to say something. I'm sure you. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? Many of their disciples. Go back to uh, verse 59. Now, now, the areas that you go to, they, they all mean something. And scripture, when you study them, when you look at the towns and stuff, a lot of times they say something. Go, 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 go to 59 read from this one. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Capernaum means village of comfort. He told his disciples that this is stuff, and they said this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? Wow. Now, since they had a village of comfort, now it's hard. Oh, it's so hard. Oh. Wow. Wow. He told them a lot of stuff. And when they heard it, they didn't give a chance to try it. Uh-uh. This is so hard. Wow. I can't. Uh, who, who can understand all this? We oh. found the free, but then I was on the first day. <laughs> who can remember all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> himself, his disciples murmured at it. He said to them, Does this offend you? You got a problem? Yes. You got a problem? Yes. You got a problem? Yes. How many of you, oh. if you should, walk up to me and say, You got a problem? How many of you say, Yeah? Heaven and hell? I can't say. I know what I say. Nothing. Do, 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 do I have a problem? <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't I, I, I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> Let me know. Man. If you say so. <laughs> I don't no, 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 no. Do you have a problem? I hear you, he done told you how to get the victory. He done told you spiritual things. He done told you wonderful things. He done told you what you got to do, and you say, nah, that's too hard. Boy. I don't want to stay. Mm. I don't want to speak a word. I don't want to read. I don't want to go to service, but one time on first day, why well, I got to go three, four times? No, it's too hard. Mm. I didn't want to be a hawkman warrior. I didn't want to go to heaven. I didn't want to do all this stuff. I just wanted to be with Christ. Now I got to speak a word. I got to speak a word. I got to know the word of speaking. Now I just can't say anything. The fuck is what I'm saying? Oh, fuck is what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm always saying. When Jesus knew it in himself, he said, does this offend you? I lied to him. Some of you will lie. I said, no. That'll be the first thing I'm going to say. No, I can do it. I'm just playing. <laughs> I said, yeah, he sounded like I had me some water. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Boyne. What? If you shall see the Son of Man ascend up to heaven where he was before. What if you see something impossible? What if you see me in my glorious state? I watch one picture. Dude say, I'm in this form because my real form, you can't handle it. Yes. 
You see, I got a mane like a lion. I got four heads, and you can't handle it. Mm -hmm. So I got to appeal to you as this wrinkled little man. Mm -hmm. Does this offend you? I just told you something amazing, mm -hmm. and you upset about that. Come on. It is what? Come on. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. What? Mm -hmm. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profit you what? Nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you, what is one? But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who shall betray him. There you go. It is the spirit that quickened. Yes. That the spirit gives life. Yes. Not the flesh. Mm. It's the spirit that gives life. That was the word quickened me. The flesh profit you nothing, 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 nothing. The flesh profit you nothing. 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 The words that I speak unto you, they are what? Spirit and they are life. Mm. If you want life, you go to the word. Mm. And you got to do what he said do. He told us to speak certain things. He told us to give certain things. Yes. He told us to pray a certain way. Yes. He told us certain things to do, to do it. That's what it means by the spirit and life. Yes. We think so small. Yeah. I just want to choke us sometimes. The words that I speak, I speak. He told you the power. That's what he said. Well, is this for you? What if I tell you something, show you something amazing? Mm -hmm. What if I show you how I am in my glorified state? What you going to do with that? Say that's not true too? What? Well, I mean, come on. I'm telling you true stuff to save your life. I'm telling you to speak a word in your situation and walk in and then live. It's true. But, but, but instead of doing that, you want to say, oh, I can't do that. Then. I need a miracle cure. I need some oil. If I pour this oil down your throat, will you start talking? Boy. If I make everybody here drink a cap full of oil, will you start speaking then? You don't have to make me talk. Does that offend you? <laughs> check, I mean, check, check this out. Go, go, go to Hebrews. Remember, the spirit. We think of the words as little the ABCs. Words are spirits. Say that words are spirits. Words are spirits. And Yeshua words are spirit and life. Yes. Say that Yeshua words. Yeshua words are spirits. Are spirits. And they are life. And they are life. And guess who word you're supposed to be telling and speaking? Wow. Yeshua's word. You're supposed to be saying the same thing that Yeshua said about every situation, about everything come at you, you want to say the same thing Yeshua wow. said. You. And then you will have life and life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Then you can live a victorious life instead of running around saying, I don't know what to do. And walk. But see, that, that means you got to study. That means you got to listen. That means yeah. you got to take it to heart. I'm going to show you something. Yeah. I, I can show you how to live. Right? Go, 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 go to Hebrews 4th chapter. I'm trying to hurry up, but right, right about now. Fox yeah, really, really. got right here. Oh, the fuck's just getting all these things. Hebrews 4. Y'all woke up yet? Mm -hmm. I can say that one now. Ooh, y'all were waiting. I had y'all some time. Faces out there. <laughs> Hebrews 4, chapter 12, verse. Come on. That's one. For he took in a certain place on the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest oh, no, the no, seventh no, no, day no, no, from no. all his work. Right, right, right. Uh, you're in Hebrew 4 and 12? Uh, I'll touch that 4 and 4. Okay. 4 and 12. Uh -huh. for, the word, for the word is quick and powerful and sharper than into a sword, piercing even to the dividing and thunder of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. For the word of God. Somebody said the word of God. The word of God. And that's just happened to be the logos. <laughs> For the word of God is quick. That means it's alive. Mm -hmm. You sure already told you that my words are spirit and they are life. Yes. And 
Now he's telling you the power that is uh, that's my, that is in that spiritual word. Y'all don't hear me. He's telling you what power is in that. He said it's alive and it's powerful. Oh my. Mm -hmm. That means it's going to do just what it's supposed to yes. do. Yes. And sharper than any two-edged sword. So if it's sharper than any two-edged sword, that means we can't compare it to a natural thing. Well, uh, back yes. in the day, they used to say swords can cut the air. Mm. In a way, he said piercing Whoa. even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. He said a word is so sharp that it can separate the soul from the spirit. Now, you know they ain't nothing that sharp. He said, like, man, they ain't nothing never been that sharp. Mm -hmm. But he can tell you which is talking. That word, the word can look at you and say, I ain't talking to you, so sit down somewhere. Ooh. Come here, spirit. This, this is how you're going to whoop the soul. It can mm -hmm. tell the difference of the joint and the marrow. The joint and the marrow, we know the, the, we talk about life. Mm -hmm. We talking about how we operate. Somebody said operate. Operate. How we operate and how we live. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. How we operate the joint. We know what the joint is. The joint is how the how your body move. This is moving. All the way this can move is why? Because I got a joint here. Mm -hmm. I can't do none of this without a joint. Yeah. It, it says how to move and it tells us how to the marrow. Inside your bone marrow is there all the issues. They keep you living. Yeah, true. So it's saying that it can divide the soul, it can divide the joint from the marrow. Really, it's talking about it's so sharp, you can cut through this bone. <laughs> wow. And it is a discern mm -hmm. of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The rear of the shoe already figured out what you was trying to lie about. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. It's a discerner and an intents of the heart. You can't you can't say a lie to overrun the word because it's the truth. Mm. <laughs> it's the truth. Neither is there any creature. Come on, Mrs. Warner. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. In other words, he said there ain't nothing here. It will show you every creature, everything out there, dead, alive, or whatever needs to be seen. There is no hide boo. There is no peek boo. There is none, none of that boo. It's just y'all going to show you everything. Yes. He said, he, he, he said, even if they're going to strip you down, going to take your leader off you, they're going to say, that's your leader and that's you. That's the difference between that. What it mean by naked? When you come, yeah, you got yeah, a yeah. leader. You got something like that. That's this, that, 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 that. It, it tells you everything. It lays it out in front of you and tells the truth about it. That's why when you're a truth teller, well, I'm telling you something, when you're a truth teller, man, the world hates you. Right now, some of you are mad at me for preaching the truth, and I'm saying he comes in the word. Okay, and I'm telling you, the only way you're going to change, the only way you're going to get out of this situation, is speak a word over it. Yes. Right. You get over there and you say what the word say about it, and you believe it. Watch what happens. Yeah. Watch the word do what it do. That's what you should do. See, and then we have a great high priest that's passing to heaven. It's Jesus the Son. Let us hold fast to profession. We got Yeshua up there. He's telling you, he's looking over what we say. So why are you scared to say something? Well, there you go. Wow. Wow. We are ambassadors for him. He's standing up there watching over you so you can't mess up before y'all. Yeah. So he said, let us hold fast to our profession. In other words, let us know what we're saying. Let's keep talking. Why are you ain't talking? Why you ain't why you ain't declaring? How can they hear without a preacher? Oh gosh, you tell the truth. I know. You are. Well, we have not been high priests. We cannot be touched with feelings. Come on, Mr. One. For well, we have not been high priest cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was at all points tempted like we are, yet without sin. He had been tempted in every way possible. So he knows what you're talking about. Yes. You have a high priest that knows what you're talking about. So don't come, oh, you don't understand. Oh, no, no. Yes, he will. Yes. So you can't, you got no excuses. It's yes. already laid out for you. He already know. See, that's what people don't understand. Wow. He already know 
Oh, he didn't shut the word, but the deal, deal up was that he shut deliverance. Yeah. But wow. we don't want to believe it, so we just say a mess. I got it. What? Let wow. us come boldly. Come on, Mr. Brown. I got it. Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Stop acting like a love punk, like you were so afraid uh -huh. and come boldly before the throne of grace. That you can get some help. Somebody said that I can get some help. That I can get some help. See, what we do, this is what we do. We got all this thing coming at us. Boom. Marriage. Boom. Money. Boom. Children. Boom. Parents. Boom. People. Boom. School. Boom. Job. Boom. Finance. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, share the faith. Boom, boom, boom. Share the faith. I believe, I believe, I believe. And we ain't using no words. Uh. They're going to keep right on shooting at you. Or they will never run out of bullets. Oh, got something man. We ain't destroying nothing. We ain't putting nothing on our feet. We're supposed to be putting devils on our feet. We're supposed to be destroying the Christian on our feet. That's why we speak a word. And so this is what we think we think we gotta grab our sword. Because it says sword. Mm. But how many know when they say sword, they mean group. Come here, when it's when they say army, they ain't talking about when they say lift your sword, they ain't talking about one man. Yes. They're talking about the whole army. Yes. Lift your sword. You remember um, uh, Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. You remember when he had a whole bunch of spirits? Lego, uh, not Lego, but uh, uh, who? Aragorn. Aragorn. He had all these, oh, yeah. all these spirits mm -hmm. helping him fight yeah. the goblins and all of them. Yeah. And you remember how when the leader lifted his sword and Aragorn lifted his sword, the leader sword, oh, yeah. king had to do what Aragorn said. Yeah. And because the because the leader. Aragorn was now the leader. They got to do whatever Aragorn say. Uh -huh. And so when he said attack, they just went on the attack. But a whole barrage attack. And they point to one thing. You remember how they tore up that, that mammoth? Yes. They whoa, 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 whoa. whole bunch of them just tore it down like it wasn't nothing. Yeah. Because the one had to go. So yeah. you got a barrage. Let's that's, that's see. Now you got the angels of the Lord are kept about them. Yeah. Who love yeah. Why do you think they're there? They're having a cookout? What day you go? What you think they're doing? Mm. How much you think they're doing? Hey, what you do? Child, it was hot today. It will it was hot. What you did today? We sat around and played the Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, what you did today? Oh, we text all day long. No. Mm. This is an easy game right here. Mm. I wonder what Michael and the boys are doing. I went all the way through angel schools to go through this. <laughs> now, remember, remember all those, all those spirits just burn brush, yeah, off everything. And you remember how Legolas came and did what it took all whole bunch of spirits to do? Yeah. Legolas came. Remember, let's say the mammoth. Uh -huh. yeah. You remember how the spirit took all the spirits that run down the mammoth. Yeah. And Legolas came and did it all by himself. Yeah. Just do, do, do. He did one, did everything that all those people combined, or all those spirits combined can do. Uh -huh. You can do it. Oh, wow. there you go. But then when you point, you don't have to do it all. Ah. Because remember, they took over the whole fort. The whole stronghold. Because he said a word. Yes. He said something like, I am free. <laughs> wow. And, 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 and what happened? What what needed to be done went to going. Boom, boom. Things got put in motion. Yeah. yeah. The, the angels of the Lord listen for you to talk and say what Yah has said because you are ambassador of Yeshua. And they move upon it. Mm. Is it true? Yes. 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 Are you listening to me? Yes. I know you think the world always wins. And you think you're so 
I was reading today. I was reading about the word of key versus the word of the prophet. The word of key versus the word of Yahweh. And I know you think any uh, Yahweh the rock. Well, let's look at it for a minute. Can we do that? Yes, sir. I'm going to stop with this. Let's go to Second King. Second King. Verse 1. Come on, Mr. Bond. Watch out. Second King. Second King. Second King. Second King. Second King. Second King. Chapter 1. Verse 1. Then Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ahab. Okay, that's a long story. But just know they lost and they won. Come on. Verse 2. And Ahaziah fell down to a lattice in his upper chamber that was the Samaria. And, was sent, and he sent messengers and said to them, Go inquire of Beelzebub, the god of Akron, whether I shall recover this disease. Okay, what we have here, we have this king, his, his name just happened to be Isaiah. Uh-huh, I hope I said it right. Isaiah. And it means uh -huh. Yahweh. Why do you got Yahoo? Yahweh hold or uh, Yahweh possess. Yahweh possess. Remember who's in charge. Look at that. He fell down through a porch. Let's say he was on a porch. Uh -huh. And he sat out and he fell down and he got hurt. Yes. Somebody said he got hurt. He got hurt. And then he told one of his messengers, Go inquire of Balzabal, the God of Ephraim, whether I shall recover of this disease. Mm -hmm. Go and tell it. Balzabal! Now, Beelzebub, there's so much on different as this is just ridiculous. Uh -huh. But Beelzebub was the lord of the flies, and they say it's so much different in Bible and things. There. But just know he, for this purpose, he was the lord of the flies. He was, um, uh, oh, he had power over diseases, and that's why he's coming for it. Uh -huh. I can that. Um, basically, uh, everyone was, he was like one of the most powerful gods because he could uh, make flies go. Away. Flies was a big hazard. Some people think it was in the shape of a big fly. And they got all these things about him. I had a head, but this to help understand about Mr. Bell's about. He's, he, I know he's on your arm. Um, your list of big shot, big hits. It says, uh, this was, according to the apocryphal gospel of Nicodemus, mm -hmm. Jesus gave Beelzebub dominion over hell and gratitude for helping remove Adam and other free Christians, unbaptized saints in prison, and bringing them to heaven over Satan's objection. In those early days, Satan outranked Beelzebub. By the 16th century, I a demonologist, somebody, somebody, was listening to Beelzebub, a supreme chieftain of hell, with Satan below him. So that is one thing they said about him. Are we uh, interested? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I told you all, it's, it's, it's a lot. He was, uh, the think he was, they say he was one of the archangels in heaven ah. that Satan uh, convinced to come with him. And uh, he came down, and uh, that's why he's so powerful. Mm -hmm. He was so powerful, that, you know, that he, he was like saying, Frank and Satan, one of the watchers, uh, you know, some people say he, the name is the same as Satan. Some people say uh, him and Satan 
Now let, remember this now, this is important stuff that you didn't know and it gonna make things make sense. Mm -hmm. You remember when Yeshua said, if Beelzebub cast out Satan, how would his kingdom stand? Yeah. You know, I know we wow. have, a, have a clue of what that meant. Yeah. But Beelzebub and say both of them are the ain't the big shot. And and um Right now, you know, they said um, the elder boy, Satan was the prince of the power of the air. The elder boy was running hell. Um, and that ain't the first time I heard this other thing, and they say it's another name for Satan. And they say that Lucifer was running is the prince of the power of the air, and Satan, which is the elder boy, was the running hell. Yeah. And they, people get it mixed up, and they were saying all this stuff. But just so you'll know, that's what it meant by that. Wow. There's a demon running this and, a, and another and a big devil running this and a big devil running that and they about to clash. Yes. So they want to know who's the best. Hope's in the fight Superman. It's only now. Wow. And that's wow. what that's what it was. And, but they joined up. Yeah. And now they want to come and take out this shield. You know, them don't think angels are stupid that they are dumb. Yeah. You know. They had to have some power. Yeah. They say they're going to overthrow the kingdom of God. Yeah. Don't think they ran up there with nothing. Uh -huh. uh, even after they kicked out like the other God, they did, they did heal people of diseases. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that Yeshua, he didn't get, I mean, y'all, sometimes he called them dead, stupid idols. Then the, the real devils, he'll come out against them. Mm -hmm. They'll come out against them. So, so we yes. see here. Wow. And Isaiah fell down wow. in this one. But the angel of the Lord said unto Elijah with his light, Arise and go up and meet the message. So what we have here, you got a king. We had a king. And he gave, he told the ghost, give a word from Beelzebub. Of whether I'm going to get out this Triple state, I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm say triple state. Triple state. Well, no, we get out of this triple state. Mm -hmm. So the people left, and on the way, Yah, read verse 6, that's one. And they said unto him, There came a man up to meet us, and said unto us, Go, turn again unto the king, Jew, and say unto him, Thus said the Lord, Is it not because there is not a God in Israel that thou sentest to inquire of bells above the God of Ephraim? Therefore thou shalt not come down from the bed on which thou art going up, but thou shalt surely die. There you go. Okay. He saw the messenger. They went up and they see the big hairy man sitting on the mountain. And he tell them they ain't going nowhere. Yes. He said, You go back and you tell the king that. Is he going to Beelzebub because there ain't no God in Israel? Mm -hmm. He said, you tell him, no, he ain't getting out of bed. He's going to die right there. <laughs> yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. So the king sent him back with 50 men. <laughs> and they came up to him. Woo! And Elijah did like this. That's my boy. Right <laughs> ah, yes. Every time I see him, I see him doing that. Ah! Uh, every time Elijah come on, you can tell Elijah's gonna die. For real though. I'm telling you, man. I yeah. Over. <laughs> I just up on the thing. And he said, as the Lord lives, somebody's gonna die today. Yes. <laughs> God, yes. Now, let me let me get the exact words. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> the man came up doing with 50 people and he said. Verse 8 trip me out and asked him, it was a hairy man in a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Read verse 10, but I'll ask the one. And Elijah answered and said to Captain of the 50, If I be a man of God, then let the, the fire come down from heaven and consume me and thy fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Yeah. Now, Elijah, they ought to know better. See, they was, he already had done kill uh, uh, Jezebel in the crew. Remember, he, had done, he tore up them at one point. You remember that? Yes. The prophets of Baal, yes. they were lying up. Baal the should have been getting out of town. Okay. Like, <laughs> verse 10. 
they're going to Elijah challenged them to a duel. Yes. He said, Yah versus the prophets of Baal. They're going to line up and they're going to try to get whoever God the greatest is going to drop fire. You know, Elijah was a fire expert. Yes. And so the prophets of Baal tried to do it all day and night. Y'all know the story. They couldn't do it. So Elijah picked at him. Yes. So there was time for the evening feast. And Elijah came in and said, okay, Father, go ahead and do your thing. Elijah, uh, the father dropped fire from heaven. And then he, he burnt the, uh, the, uh, the uh, piece of the ball stuff, too. Uh -huh. And then it was, it was hard for them to die. Yes. So this, this would trip me out. I'm reading at the end, and Elijah said, I see y'all over there by the lake. Go get them, too. Yes. They were trying to escape by the lake. Uh -huh. So Elijah, Elijah killed them. Uh -huh. So now we're over here in this category. These 50 men come at Elijah. If two people come at you, you give up. Yeah. They can send you a letter in the mail, and that's it, I lose. <laughs> oh, man. They sent 50 men live in living color, and like I say, if the Lord living, I guarantee y'all don't go home today. <laughs> uh, he said, the Lord living, fire will drop down and burn you and your 50 men. And guess what happened? Y'all live, and guess what? They did. <laughs> so he sent another captain and another 50 men. And he comes up and he said, the captain, the king say, come here right now. And I stood up. <laughs> cracked the neck. And said, I am stuck on bandages. <laughs> <laughs> stuck on me. You better invest this song. Yes. So let the Lord live in. <laughs> he gonna give you and your 50 man. Yes. And guess what happened? Y'all live, mm -hmm. and guess what? They did. Mm -hmm. Now, the king said, well, two times won't work. I got another trick. Let's try a third one. Yes. Oh. Oh. And so he sent the third man, and the captain came and knocked on the door. No, no, no. He said, excuse me, sir. Yes. Can I got some water? <laughs> Can I come in for a moment? Yes. And I said, Dude, I don't crack that man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But he came and he said, Sir, please. I seen you kill 100 people, 102 people today. <laughs> please, please have mercy on my life. Yes. Please, 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 please yes. don't kill me. I'm not the man. Then you the angel of the Lord spoke to Elijah and said, Okay, you can go with him. Then I said, okay, take him to the king. And he goes to the king, and the king, looking all stupid, laying on the bed. Mm -hmm. And Yah said, and Elijah said, as the Lord living, you will not get off that bed. And he said, Lord living, but you will not get off that bed. And guess what? He didn't get off that bed. Nope. He died right there. You know, he gave him the message. You know, you got to go away and ask Baal. Boy. Y'all don't like light bulb. Yeah. For some reason. He, you sure said it over in Matthew. If you say I do this by the power of Bible, you won't be forgiven in this life. Okay. No okay. other life to come. Yes. That's why they say Yeshua was healing folks because you because they said Beelzebub was, was the man. That if you want some healed, mm -hmm. you gotta go through Beelzebub. Mm -hmm. And that's why one reason why Yeshua did a whole bunch of healing. To this mill that Beelzebub stuff. Yeah. Are you listening? To yes, me? sir. And 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 wow. we have the same crazy stuff going on in the New Testament. Yeah. The the man and this is how powerful. This is what I want you to get. Mm -hmm. This this is how powerful the word is. The word in you. So I say the word in me. The word in me. When you go home, you can read and study it or whatever you want to do. But you can go over to um, Matthew eight chapter. And it's in 5 through 18. This is why I don't want you to read it because this, this proclaimed to you. The man, the centurion. I'm going to say the centurion. The centurion. The centurion came. And he, he told Yeshua, now in, in one verse, he didn't even come. He sought service. Because he didn't think he was worthy to come into Yeshua's presence. Yeah, yeah. And he went to Yeshua and he said, sir. He said, will you come? When his servant was powerful. Yeah. Palsy is, is, is crippled on one side. Mm -hmm. It's crippled and suffering on one side. 
sort of sound like a kid dude over in um over back in uh King. Well son. He was he had to fail down and he was sick. He yeah. couldn't move. Yeah. We had the same situation almost his, his servant sick with pause. Yeah. Suffering. Wow. And he said and, and, and he said, and and Yeshua got up, Yeshua said, I'm going to go. And the man said, No, don't go. Yeah. He said, uh, I'm not worthy for you to enter my house. Yeah. He said, but only, he said, I have servants. And I tell them to do this and to do that, and they go do this and they go do that. If you just speak a word, I know it's done. Yeah. And Yeshua called that what? Great faith. Yeah. He stood up and he said, I have not seen such greater faith in Israel. Yeah. He said, go be it unto you even as you believe. And the man's servant was healed that very hour. Yeah. This was a centurion, not even of the Jewish nation. Yeah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. This was a centurion. And Yeshua spoke a word. Mm. And the man believed. And guess what? Yeah. He was healed. Yeah. So we have to speak a word. That shows you the power of speaking the word. It goes on and on. You read when Yeshua talking about Beelzebub and how people that committed this 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 sacrilege, this abomination stuff, uh, uh, that's against the spirit of Yah. But he said, "I do this by the spirit of Yah." Yeah. Yeshua said that, not by Beelzebub. Yeah. If you want to say I did this by Beelzebub, curse on you, curse on your cow. <laughs> Everything you do is going to be cursed. You won't get forgiveness in this life, uh -huh. nor in the life to come. Now, why would he make such a grand thing about this Beelzebub thing? Yeah. Because Beelzebub was taking the credit. Mm. He wow. was trying to say he was a prophet. And they said that that's what their magicians did. Yeah. They came and they healed people through the power of this demon. Yeah. This Devil, be awesome. Y'all listen to what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Now, remember over in Revelation. Now you put some stuff on that. You remember in Revelation that um, y'all want to see something real cool? Mm -hmm. Over in Revelation, we talked about uh, you should have been cast out, huh? The, the dragon? Yeah. Not Yeshua, yeah. Yeshua cast not Satan. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to do this? Yeah. I mm -hmm. If you want to hear how I hate them, don't go on down the office stage soon. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Revelation 12, it says, and at 12 and 12, it said, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the heavens of earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that his, he had but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, now that's something he got to be aware that he's now been cast to the earth. Yeah. He persecuted the one which brought forth the man, that's Israel. And the woman, check this out, were given two wings of a what? Great, great eagle. eagle. So that's a great eagle. Great eagle. What is the symbol of the United yes, States? Yes, the eagle. Wow. And the woman was given two wings of a great wow. eagle. That she might fly into the wilderness. Remember when this was written, the United States was not discovered. Yes. Into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out his mouth and the serpent cast out his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the women of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have a testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, I just want you to see that. Yeah. Now, if Israel, which the United States is 
the country is built just like the tabernacle. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, 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 and the tent, the tent tabernacle. Mm -hmm. That's the is built just like it. And if he said, and the pilgrims would, guess what Hebrew? Nope. And um, so was Columbus. Oh, yeah. The Hebrews. And they were wow. looking for a place to worship. Wow. And they came and they discovered America. England declares we tried to take over the um, United States. Remember the colonies? The English yeah. Colonies? Yes, sir. They say that they are descendants of the Hebrews. Wow. They were one of the 12 tribes. Now, if you think about like them, they're probably get their keys and keys from them. Yeah. Now, if you get, if you see, take that all into consideration, uh -huh. you can see right now why things are going crazy yeah. in the United States. It's like something happened and a whole flood of demons just yeah. out like the United States. Yes. Yeah. It's like people that lost their ever-loving mind they don't have sense. Oh, no. I mean, I, it, it's hard to fathom the things that they do now. Yeah. I'm like, how in the world? This morning I'm just watching. What makes you think, oh, messing with a baby eyebrow is a good thing? Or? I don't understand the thinking. You know, one that she said her three-year-old daughter was getting bullied. I mean, nobody don't know who the fantastic bully is. And she don't want nobody bullying her, so she put whatever that stuff they do to the eyebrows. What is it called on uh, them? Wax her unibrow. Wipes her daughter's unibrow. Now, what planet is that okay? What planet is that okay? I mean, really. I, I, I was watching. I said the same thing. I said they got too much time on their hands. What? <laughs> Jarrell said they must have no real news. <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 the guy, I was watching the show, and everything was picking at Christianity. Yeah. Everything that they said was a mockery of Christianity. I was like, what happened that everybody wants to pick at the Christians? Yes. Not, not just the any kind of but the ones who believe yes that i mean they're going down san francisco shooting birds cussing and the dude the the narrator of this show was just talking bad about christianity everything had a slang about something that christians believe i'm like what is going yeah. on in this country i knew it was bad and i knew it was signs of the time and the end of time but oh man, it is just lonely deal. people are crazy they're crazy. Yeah. If you don't, if they don't believe like they believe, they're gonna kick you outside and kill you. Mm -hmm. Y'all think I'm joking, but yeah. it's just that terrible. It's like a big, and I see it when I read that. I understand. Yeah, I understand because y'all said it so many times. If you're not down with him, you'll get to him. Yeah, we run around like we got time. We run around like we got nothing to do. What you should do if you wake up tomorrow morning and all everybody you know say is gone and you're still here. What you want to do? Just give up. You know what you're doing right now, whether it's right or wrong. You know in your lifestyle right now, if you have been halfway trying to do what y'all say, or you just been going through the most. What would you do? Even if you don't believe in them. I, I, I read to you in the book of Enoch that y'all took the people home before one of the floods, he, he, he let them die. Yeah. He brought them home because he didn't want them to go through nothing terrible. And scripture tells us to pray to count ourselves worthy yeah. to escape those things that shall come upon the earth. And people be thinking that death is just terrible, it's such a terrible thing, it's such a terrible thing. Yeah, but what about those who sleep? Yes. 
They don't want to talk about that. I know for a fact that time is short. I wake up, when I wake up in the morning, I'm very, very surprised sometimes. Because I know no time is short. I don't know if you can feel it, but I can feel it in my being. It's like Yeshua said, man, you look up at the sky and you know a storm coming. I can feel it in my being. It ain't got time. And I don't know if he's going to, how he's going to do it. But I just pray that I'm counting burden yes. to escape those things that come upon the earth. Yes. How about yourself? Yes. Is this just a game? Mm -hmm. No. Come on, Elder Lily, I need, I need to pray over that. Mm -hmm. say do that we don't mean it. We say idle things in scripture called it. We things that we regret. It's time out for that. Thank you. 
Well, yeah, coming up, normal lineup, we have our outreach on the last Sabbath day before the zone. The zone? We are so far the zone. The zone. On the last Thursday of the month. The last Thursday of the month. And we'll be with Minister Curry. And we also have our healthy hair. Yeah. Um, um, everyone check Facebook. Everybody, every second birthday and fourth night, every second fourth night and fourth day. And while you check Facebook, everybody, every second birthday and fourth night and fourth night. <laughs> Remember the instruction given to us from our father, from our pastor, from our father, to listen to the service on the previous message, everything, fourth night and first day and first day and fourth night. <laughs> Amen. 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 Um, um, remember to chat up for prayer, yes. especially at other than now. Yes. Leads us and go on her journey to the mysterious beyond. Yeah. Amen. 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 And I believe it's all my announcements at this Regarding the assignment, <laughs> regarding the assignment, regarding our covenant, and I gave a time limit. Yes. Yeah, so if those that are turned it in, you you oh. like whatever. But um, <laughs> that that time limit is not the original instruction. So that's not what Pastor said. So when you're finished, when you're finished with the homework assignment, then you forward it on to pastor, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Phew, not done that. Yes, that little man? Hmm? Hmm? Happy on birthday, Jonathan. Today's uh -huh. Jonathan's on birthday. Today's <laughs> Laura's birthday, too! <laughs> Come on, let's say to my feet and be dismissed. For real, yo, so y'all, please, and now you know, I, I always plead with y'all to pray for Elder Lynette. It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> uh -huh. um, we God. still need you to pray. Two, 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 two. <laughs> okay, come on, let's stand to our feet. Amen. And pray and be dismissed. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word on tonight. Father, we thank you for you bringing us here, how you kept us, and how you kept us in our right minds, Father, to receive what you want tonight. And we thank you for your seal in that word, Father, that it will grow, it will produce, and we will be those vessels of honor that you called us to be. Father, we love you and we praise you. And we come together, we lift up our pastor right now in the name of Yeshua. Father, we ask that you would restore the virtue, restore the virtue that has gone out of him on tonight, that you would touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, Father, 
that you will continue to bless him and keep him and reveal yourself to him, Father. We thank you for you continue to give him that wisdom and insight on how to relay it to us, your people. Father, we ask that you keep him encouraged. Father, we ask that you just continue to bless him. Father, let your, your, your blessings just shower down upon him. Father, we give you praise for you blessing us with him and give you honor for who you are, Father. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. 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 Come on and look to your name and say, He shall know the truth. He shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. You know what? The truth, the truth, it is, it is what it is. What it is. Shalom. Shalom.